I want to do some more defining of, of my sound and do some more comparison with the rough. And to do that, I need a little bit more of these vocals. There are a couple moments where I felt his, his voice might need a little bit of help uh, tuning-wise. There aren't many, but occasionally. So I just threw that on real quick to just make it easy so I don't have to think about it. A de -esser. there are lots of good de -essers. Um, I just popped this one on at the moment. I also have uh, a little bit of compression with this uh, soft tube tube tech, uh, which I like. I've also got a hardware um, insert on, which uh, hardware insert number 12 in my setup, uh, GML 8200. So I've got the right side of that GML 8200 on his voice. I've separated into verse and chorus because generally, uh, as is the case in most, most uh, songs, the singer is, is not pushing as hard. So his throat is a little open and there's a little more resonance. Just as I'm talking now, it's, it's a little richer. Um, and then in the choruses, they either come up in uh, the note that they're singing, but they also kind of squeeze their, their throat a little bit. I find that generally I need a different EQ, different compressor, just a different approach overall, and quite often different effect for hooks. Now this song doesn't have one of those high-powered pop song type hooks, but he still goes up in pitch, and that alone changes how, what his throat is doing. And like any instrument, if you go from a tenor sax to an alto sax, that's a smaller, smaller throat and they require slightly different equalizations, slightly different compressions because of the sonic quality of them. Not to mention how he's pushing on the microphone. I can't imagine that he's standing at the mic microphone exactly the same for every section of the song. The more he digs in, the more he changes his position on that microphone. And that's why I separate generally the verses from the choruses so that I can do slightly different things. things we did was we took all the instruments and raised them up 5 dB. So immediately all my vocals are going to be lower. Now I just raised the verse lead up 3 dB and that's getting close. Again, what I'm trying to do here is get in a broad stroke kind of way closer to wh where I want to be uh, so that I can compare to the rough but also hear the elements that I need to, to focus on in a more detailed way. So these are not final levels, these are not final EQs, this is not final anything. This is just some basics so that I can continue to do little details and focusing. So I had a couple effects already worked out. I'm gonna continue to use those. Uh, you can see that I've got a parallel setup on my, uh, on my lead voice. Um, both in the verses and in the um, choruses. And that's a simple little parallel system that I'm using uh, Bomb Factory 1176.4 with a little bit of uh, reduction in the low mids and the low frequencies for EQing. I'm not trying to reinvent anything here. Right now I'm just trying to 
get it in the ballpark so I can start to understand if I'm going in the right direction.